Hey, what's up? I'm your host, Christian Patterson, here to bring you this week's edition of TV20's Inside Sports Report. In its 19th year, the Greater Cleveland Sports Awards is the premier annual fundraiser for the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission. This annual event is the highlight of the year for the Cleveland sports community. It celebrates Cleveland's professional, collegiate, and high school sports achievements. The event kicks off with a cocktail hour where former and current athletes can mingle with guests and rejoice on the successes of the prior year in sports. Following cocktail hour, guests made their way to the ballroom for dinner and the award ceremony honoring the top athletic moments from 2018. This year's awards were hosted by sports journalists, ESPN Sports Center anchor, and NBA Countdown pregame show host on ABC, Hannah Storm. Serious Cleveland history here. I'm wondering what you two fellas think of the young Nick Chubb. Well, he's, he's great. He's doing a lot of things this year. I mean, there's been a big history of running backs come through the Cleveland Browns organization, and he's just adding to this. You know. It's, it's the time now that he can't just take what he did this past year for granted and move forward and try to get better as he goes. What do you think? I think if he keeps doing what he's doing, he could one day be better than I was. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have one more question for you. Yep. Is this a tearaway suit? <laughs> Let's <No>. see. <laughs> Let's all right, see. fellas, thanks for all you've done for Cleveland. Thanks for being here, and I'll, I'll let you have it, have right. the stage. Okay. The High School Athletes of the Year Awards presented by University Hospital Sports huh. Medicine are awarded to the f male and female high school athletes who have distinguished themselves through athletic, athletic excellence during the past year or athletic season and are in good academic standing. This year's finalists for the female award are... Olivia. Olivia Howe, track and field, Solon High School. Okay. Maddie Nunez, softball, Keystone High School. Ava Rouser, volleyball, Rocky River High School. Hey, Bernie. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Open. And the winner, female high school athlete of the year. Olivia Howe. So 
Michael Bame, Lacrosse, St. Ignatius High School. <laughs> Malvin Blah, Soccer, Lakewood High School. <laughs> Noah Potter, Football, Mentor High School. Marvin Ball. The Collegiate Athletes of the Year Awards are presented to both the male and female collegiate athletes or teams who have most distinguished themselves through athletic ex excellence during the past year or athletic season and is in good academic standing. The finalists for the female award are Rachel Bender, Soccer, Baldwin Wallace University. Anna Brandt, Cross Country, Cleveland State University. Aaron Gardner, Volleyball, Kent State University. You know the uh, I don't want to mess up no names, so I'm going to let you do this here. Here, let me do it. <laughs> and the award goes to Rachel Bender, Baldwin Wallace University. Draymond Jones, football, the Ohio State University. The University of Akron's men's soccer team. Gerard James, wrestling, University of Mount Union. And the award goes to... Akron men's soccer team. Okay, the Professional Athlete do, of the Year Award. Do the honors. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The Professional Athlete of the Year Award presented by Fox Sports Ohio is awarded to the athlete who resides in the Nine County area or is a member of one of Cleveland's professional sports teams. And it goes to uh, the one that's the most distinguished that has distinguished him or herself through athletic excellence during the past year or athletic season. The finalists are... Corey Kluber, Cleveland Indians. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, Cleveland Browns. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians. And Denzel Ward, Cleveland Browns. All right, I'm supposed to open this up and <laughs> announce the winner, but I wouldn't have been invited if our man wasn't the winner. Baker, come on up, young man. <laughs> the number one overall draft pick in 2018, Mayfeld led all rookie quarterbacks, completing 64% of his passes for 3,725 yards and a quarterback rating of 93.7%. The first of many. He also set the yeah, NFL record with 27 passing touchdowns. Baker addressed the media on how glad he was to win this award. It's really special, you know. It, it's you know now this is new home and uh, being able to um, you know actually live here and, and say that I'm part of the family here in Cleveland. Uh, it's pretty special. To, so to be able to win Professional Athlete of the Year here uh, is something I'm you know I hold dear to me. He also addressed the goal of meeting Cleveland fans' expectations of making the playoffs next season. That should be the expectation. You know, it, it shouldn't be that the whole town goes crazy over one win uh, on a Thursday. It should be the expectation that we need to be competing in, in the playoffs every year. So um, that's, that's the fun part about it. But, you know what, the fans can get really excited, but we set our own expectations within the building, and I've always believed that. You know, you have to live up to your own standard. You set that, and you live to it every day. This year's Courage Award winner, presented by Cleveland Clinic Sports Health, was Sophia Pekjak, a 15-year-old freshman and premier soccer player at Lake Catholic High School. She overcame major medical obstacles to return to her true passion, participating in competitive sports. The 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award was given to Cleveland Indians legend, catcher, and current first base coach, Sandy Alomar Jr. Alomar spent 11 seasons with the Indians and was selected to six all-star teams 
while a part of the club. It is very humbling uh, just to be among Cleveland legends uh, that I admire. I, I really, you know, when I do things, when I grew up in Puerto Rico, one of the things my parents always say, uh, do things without expecting anything back. I, I just play the game just to make a difference and and uh, coach just to make a difference to help people. I don't, I never expect anything back, but to get in a war like this, it is just uh, not uh, one moment. It's a collage of moments and a collaborated uh, effort that comes up because it's not just me. I play in a team, so a lot of people have to do with this. In the final award of the evening was the 2018 Best Moment in Cleveland Sports, which was presented to the Browns for getting their first win of the season against the Jets on Thursday night football. <laughs> I would like to say one thing, though. I know this is, I'm not going to diminish the moment here, but I think these people in the Cleveland Browns table right now Absolutely. would want to tell you one thing. We got a lot more of these moments coming up in the future here <laughs> now. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Inside Sports Report. If you would like to catch past episodes of the Inside Sports Report, Classic Sports, or any city championship games, head over to our TV20 YouTube channel and click on subscribe.